Good morning, Screwball here. It is Tuesday 11th, day 144 of our Appalachian Trail journey. Uh, this is where we're headed today. Uh, we'll cross the road, climb Wildcat. We are at Pinkham Notch Visitor Center where we got off trail at yesterday. <clears throat> Not very many people here today. So, uh, that's where we get back on trail at. We're gonna do uh, a tough, but probably a 12 mile day today, uh, which will set us up for a fairly short day tomorrow. Uh, go back in, spend the night with our trail angel, and then uh, next uh, day do a you know another overnight high 20 mile two days. So that's uh, that's the plans. So uh, as we move along, I'll be glad to let you see the stuff. I uh, hope y'all having a great time and a wonderful day we're going to. And uh, in the big moose country around here, so maybe we can see some moose today. So see y'all up trail. And we're going to get this day started. All right, we're starting off on a little boardwalk. We just came across the road there. Starting off a little boardwalk with a little beaver pond here. A little marsh area. And then we're going to head up the, head up the mountains. Got some decent looking different flowers. So, um, that's what we got. Uh, saw some big waves in there earlier. Oh, there's some ducks out there, little waves. Is that a beaver? That might, that's a beaver, I think. I can't see it. Far enough out, I can't tell what it is. Pretty sure it's a beaver. But it's something out there swimming. Can't tell what it is though. Here's the marshy area on the back side. So we're gonna move on up. Yeah, it's a duck. I see him now. It was a duck. It's going away from me. So let's move on up. We'll see you up the trail. Getting her food for today and the breakfast for the morning. All right, let's move on. Yeah, it's a big tree growing out of a rock. Walking along this little river here. Starting out on a good day. All right, there's your reflection. And there's the real thing. All right, we've been on trail an hour now. Uh, we started around that curve, we came up uh, the flats there. We just climbed this little rock section. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not. Pretty steep drop there. Just over there, we climbed up the edge of this rock section. Uh, but that's what we came over yesterday. Worked our way down in that direction somewhere, but you can see the mountain range and the roads underneath. So we're gonna move on up and get a better view, probably, and uh, see what we got. All right, this rock scramble is what our last two or 300 yards being up this mountain. So I thought I'd just go ahead and let you see what we've been climbing. It's what's gonna make the day a long day because most of the day is gonna be this, these rock scrambles. So, that's what we got to do today. We'll move on up 
Talk to y'all later. All right, down there is where we started. So we've been on trail. Uh, an hour and 20 minutes, roughly. We started down there. We came, walked along the uh, the wood line, like, and the, followed the creek down, just on the edge of these mountains. Then we started turning, we turned and started coming up. That's where I was uh, at a while ago when I was showing you down there in that area, whenever I showed you that we had climbed to. See the big trucks down there. We climbed up in this, uh, this rock bluff as of right now. It's uh, still got some climbing to go. But see the mountains, that's uh, the mountains we came down yesterday. Um, see the towers on that one there. I don't know what type of towers they are. Is that Mount Washington there? Okay. So we circled around those and then came back to this one. So. Or we, no, actually, we came down that one over there and camped on that one over there and dropped down at Holland up over this ridge yesterday and came in. So that makes sense now. So now that y'all got all of that, I know y'all understand what I'm talking about. But that's Mount Washington. Where was that yesterday? It was so cloudy you couldn't see anything. So uh, not yesterday, but day before yesterday. You see all the other peaks down in the valley. Little red squirrel woke up on him and made him mad. He spit out his uh, pine cone he was eating on. So, thought I'd just put him on camera. All right, we walk up on this rock bluff here. Big rock bluff, rock face, whatever. We're gonna go around it and climb it, but uh, thought I'd go ahead and put it on video. going up through there all right we've been climbing for quite a while now I guess it's 11 something a little later so just let me show you what we're walking through we are sort of in between two mountains but we're still high in the mountains uh, headed up a peak here we're going to uh, over this peak, I think. And I think there's a hut on the other side of the peak, about a mile. Probably stop and get us some water, may get us some lunch there. As you can see, we're in the, the uh, spruce thickets here. So let's move on north, and uh, anything else come up, I'll let you see it. All right, this is where we stop, take lunch. You can see the uh, the hut down below us. It is uh, by trail, 0.8 miles below us. All right, we're going to traverse down this here ridge on the back side of this ridge down to the upper end of that lake. Then we're going up, I'm going to be on the left side of those rocks all the way up to the highest point there. That's Carter Dome. That is... Um, Two point, I, th I think 2.1 mile from us. Then we're gonna traverse the ridge to that next one, which is um, something dome. I don't remember what it is. Eventually we're going to the furthest one out there. That's the darkest one. That is four point some odd miles from us. Once we get to it, we'll drop over and start heading down the back side of the mountain. But that is the rest of our day, right on that ridge up through there, there, back down to the hut. That'll be the rest of our day. So we're gonna get moving.
All right. This is um, one of the ponds we were looking at. We were we were up in above that ridge there. I think more on that ridge over there eating lunch. Uh, a few minutes ago, now we made it down to this pond. We're gonna work our way to the uh, to the hut. There's thunder and going on above us. So we're gonna start to check the weather, see what's going on before we start climbing this next mountain. You still see the pond up here as we walk around it. I think there's a bigger pond on the other side. These rocks. Yeah, we were up on that one doing doing lunch. All right, we're gonna move on. All right, we were. I don't know if it was that one, the second mountain there. Looking back here earlier before lunch. And then when that was right there was Carter, the one I said was Carter. And then we were on the next one. I said it was gonna be the rest of our day. Well, we're about halfway through with the rest of our day. Uh, can't see everything because of that mountain, I think. It's got it blocked off. Um, not sure, I'll try to even give you a view. We've got some wind going on, feels pretty good. It's been pretty hot, had a little thunderstorm. Uh, about lunchtime today. Not sure exactly which way we're gonna go. Help uh, me. I think we're dropping off of this one. Are we gonna drop off of this, go up over that ridge, up over that mountain. And then on the back side of the mountain is our uh, destination for today. Got. You can tell it's getting hazy. Got a lot of haze in the, in the air. It's not a very clear day right now. Let's move on north and uh, get over this next mountain so we can call it a day before it gets dark. All right, all right, we're a uh, point four from that peak there. Uh, we're gonna go over that peak. Then we're gonna go over that little knoll there. We are 3.2 uh, from the shelter. That's point four to that peak. So we're fixing to climb that peak over to the shelter. It's uh, like 5.30 right now. So it's been a, a lot of climbing today. Been a long day, so we're gonna get on to that shelter and uh, call it a day. So I'll uh, hopefully give you a wrap up when I get there. If not, I'll talk to y'all in the morning.